Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the dropship. I am a touch under the weather today, so um, I am a little lower in voice than usual, but uh, we are good to go. Uh, this is our, I think this is our third day playing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we don't remember exactly where we are. I know we're in the grasslands. I think we have. I think we we have to go find a chocobo to wrangle. Yeah, we just got the quest to go find Pico. Gotta find gotta find traps. <coughs> This kind of stuff's a little harder for me to do because it's hard to. Really tell. These aren't really. <coughs> definitive on the ground there. To me, anyway. <coughs> Chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure we do. Approach Pico without being noticed. Yes. That is the name of the game. Go to sleep after I pass him. we had but you know where there's more bill's place oh. it's to to the the to come on <coughs> Oh, 
Till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? <clears throat> this freaking guy. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, <coughs> don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. <coughs> Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Juna, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched. Just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find him here, we'll turn him on. <clears throat> Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Sure. I do like how in this one they talk about like other wars, because we, we heard a lot about the war with the Wutai. Uh, that it, it like just got over, you know. But um, now they're talking about a war that happened before that. Here we are. It's a more in-depth look. Ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. <coughs> After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Sure. Chadley will employ it. The data you collect, develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the towers to help Chadley deepen the understanding of the world. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? <clears throat> uh, no. We, we've got it. We've, we're good. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. 
With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I didn't really use the morph material. Um, I wish you all the best in the long <clears throat> journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. This is to be in your fiends. We'll provide you the data he needs to update the simulator and cognitive challenges. Complete these challenges to earn a variety of rewards such as powerful summoning material. Speak with Chadley to access the simulator. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a running. Well, we can only call a chocobo in region once you have wrangled the region's bird. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. <coughs> Where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, <coughs> like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit?
<laughs> that was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you <laughs> might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. It's true, people all over the world. Willing to play top skill for clouds and for higher services. Yep. Notice board. Yeah, we got it. how we do. <coughs> You're a bona fide jockey, all right. talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So, I wanted to give it a try, but... Oh, stop. All the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? <laughs> really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. So, what I usually do with games like these, um, like you got a bunch of stuff to complete in one area, I like to complete the area before I continue, because uh, I hate going back and doing stuff. Like, I feel like it takes away from the story. Um, but that's just me. Um, so, I am going to complete this stuff. Hoist. Uh, 
where to first. I think I'm gonna try, uh, I'll go visit the mods here first. So. the most frustrating parts of this game, I think. <laughs> Not this one particularly, but what the like the last couple as they get harder. Welcome to our Mughal Emporium. Though I'm sorry to say we aren't open quite yet, and I'm not even sure when we will be. <laughs> Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Kubo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? So you can't wrangle your kids and you want me to do it. Back on their own, so I want you to round them up. And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Kubo! Uh, fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Kubo! <laughs> yeah. What the hell? I'm right on top of you. Go in there. Thanks so much, Kubo. Now we can finally 
shop in the Emporium! Here you can exchange Moogle medals for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great, I promise! <laughs> Junk! Great! Stuff we found lying around. I don't think I picked up any medals yet, have I? One. Just so you know, there are six more mock stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Over here. Oh, that was fun. I just keep getting higher here. That was a that was a little trip. Try to be a big trip.
sem problema. Far away from his little home here. There's a good little buddy.
get off the get off the bird. When I went through this for the first time, I tried to battle Titan right off the bat, and that was not advisable. <laughs> <Analysis complete. My> <coughs> Wouldn't you like to know? 
I mean, I would too. It kind of looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud, isn't that... <coughs> now you're after our treasure? Well, sucks to be you, we found it! Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it! <laughs> Hand it over. Now. Ha! Ah, do you really think that's enough to intimidate the likes? No, please, it's on your eyes! It's on again! Play dead! Play dead! Oh, we're freaking out! Now listen here, Num Nuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah! Oh, decoy. Oh, decoy means so much So, use the decoy. All of you, that's who! I always wanted to be a decoy. Gentlemen, it has been an honor.
Heavy duty pants. Yeah, they will protect against anything. This the standard bench is so comfortable. Yeah. 
person I can poison, but I can't avoid all three of them. Yeah, I'm sure there's a way, but... interest following a spring seeker owl will lead you to the life spring hey you see that i think it's the life stream I'm also to decipher the knowledge of the icebreaker. We have regional intel. Press that and select chat the regional intel to learn about the history and ecology. Weird. But I cross and come back over to here and grab this tower. Where is he going? There we go.
don't know if there's an actual like reward or something, but they're just so very cute. It's hard not to get off the cut them. disappearing including people when they die. Probably saves a ton on funeral costs. Have to find cemeteries everywhere because people just kinda disappear. Stop running away from me. There's anything down here, but I can't remember.
Where are we at? Okay, what can we do? Alright, we're relatively close to calm. Why don't we <coughs> stop and get um, those? Calm 
is currently on high alert. Please limit your activities to essential business. Once you finish, do not approach them under any circumstances. Hello there. <coughs> Hello there. Inspiring, isn't it? The view. I'm Snaps, by the way. Shutterbug and card-carrying member of the Association of Photography Aficionados. Mind if I get a shot of you? For posterity. <laughs> Pretty as a picture. You got what it takes to be in front of the camera. But what about behind it? So, apparently there's a rather scenic spot not far from here. Thing is, this terrain's a bit perilous. At least for your average photog like me, but maybe not for you. If you find the spot, take a moment to appreciate it. Try to view it as a professional photographer might. I have this cart in the way. Fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? <laughs> myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work like over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs. A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Everyone, please, like one at a time. Mercs ain't rare, but I think you're the only one <laughs> So you don't know who he was talking about? Most under city merch don't go bragging So let me get this straight. Rufus Shinra, the new I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a lick at him, but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby's fate in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Sure.
if I have any more ones. And... Oh, dog. Stop it. Baby. Stop. Yeah. I'm talking about you'll beat Virgil no problem that's the guy you gotta play the one who took my car he works at the clock tower mind kicking his ass for me and when you're done come straight back I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it got this great recipe I've been itching to try again the suspects remain at large though public security gets for the card you took from the bartender. <coughs> ah, the uh. card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for him. <laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Bottomers done. though am i right you and i are definitely gonna have to play again sometime but uh not today gotta run hold it aren't we forgetting something <laughs> right the card the one i want off bash right oh shoot 
Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Hey. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done. Am I right? So the dog loves to fart and then wake itself up and then start barking and stuff. Buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that view. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? Then bust out those cards, boy. Hmm. It is a little condescending. Let this guy out. Hmm. 
Yeah, now he's winning. Some serious skills, son. Joke's on me for thinking otherwise. Deal's a deal. Here's your card. But next time you go up against me, I'll be bringing my A game. I should be bringing A game that time. So, what can I do for you today? This one, and then be done for the night. I gotta get some, get some rest so I don't. This is for turn into a full blown sickness. We are working as hard as we can to get the power to win back on. Oh, wait, <clears throat> oh, I gotta go to the fire, which is. This isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here. It's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your tricks? So. This guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the Undercity. Seventh Heaven. Don't know if you heard of the joint. Breaking news at this hour. Avalanche. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. Pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. Knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs. Trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender! Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night, with bells on. Promise. Seriously? <laughs> Local insurgents are believed to have played a role in their escape. The company will conduct a separate investigation to identify these collaborators. This dog keeps farting. So Alright, I'm going to make a bookstore up my level. I go in there and Oh, 
finally got my hands on the new uh, Cactuar King's completely. Hey there! So, those abilities I don't use. I didn't use last time. They're not very powerful. Um, so, I'm not even going to spend money on them or spend this stuff on it. Uh, but I will need to get up here. So, we'll have to. Yeah, last time I was like, oh, you know, wow, you could use wind magic without spending MP. Yeah, but the it's like super weak and doesn't really work very well. So, learn that lesson hard. for stopping by this is where it all began. all right i think that's going to be good for tonight i'm going to get some rest so I start feeling better. Uh, when we pick up next time um we've got a couple quests we've got to finish up and then we've got um i think we're about a third of the way through intel in the grasslands so probably, probably one more session would finish that up pretty much. Next session the guys does before we cross the marsh. Or go into the cave anyway. Alright. Uh, Thanks for tuning in tonight. We will see you next time.